If you want to say that the phone with the best eSports experience at the moment, then the iQOO Digital Series must be your unavoidable choice. Although it has never been officially defined as a gaming phone, iQOO products have always become the favorite of gaming players. So what is the secret of iQOO? As an iterative model of iQOO 11, the S is super of iQOO 11 S, which further increases the super performance and super eSports experience, and has become the official phone for the Hangzhou Asian Games eSports event. The official even claims to be able to bring a Genshin impact with the best comprehensive comprehensive experience. In terms of gaming experience, iQ 11s continues the well-received configurations such as under-screen dual control pressure sensitivity, independent display frame insertion chip, 200W super flash charging, etc. It also brings the industry's exclusive 2K 144Hz screen, which is exclusively released the dual engine ultra vision technology realizes super resolution and super frame concurrency for the first time. iQ 11s continues the exterior appearance of iQ 11. The color looks very eye-catching, but the saturation is not so high, and a little bit of grayscale is added at the same time. Neutral tone, just like the name Kiantang Tingchao, is very recognizable, and the elegant turquoise is also very suitable for this hot summer day. In terms of detailed design, iQ 11s has not changed much. In terms of camera modules, it is still the iconic cloud-level design of the iQ family, but the module area is larger, occupying almost one-third of the area of the phone. There are still three cameras inside the module, arranged in an L shape, and there is a VCS logo. The metal middle frame adopts a very delicate matte treatment, the power key and volume key are located on the right side, and the bottom and top middle frames are all flat. Back to the front, iQ 11s adopts a straight screen design. For eSports players, the straight screen design must be praised. Fortunately, the screen quality of iQ 11s has a lot to say, and it continues the industry's exclusive 2K E6 144Hz screen. Specifically, the 6.78-inch 2K Ultra Clear Large Screen, a new generation of E6 luminescent materials, vertical 3200 by 1440 pixels, PPI reached 517. This screen also supports a maximum screen refresh rate of 144Hz, supports dual 10x touch, and has a 1200Hz instantaneous touch sampling rate, and 10x touch resolution. In terms of brightness, the E6 screen brightness is higher, with a peak brightness of 1800 nit, a manual maximum brightness of 600 nit, and a global maximum brightness of 1100 nit. In terms of core configuration, iQ 11s basically continues the set of iQ 11, including Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, LPDDR5X, UFS4, and at the same time the independent display chip was replaced by iQ Super Computing Independent Display Chip from V2. As an aside, when I saw that domestic phone brand started to use 1TB of large storage. Other configurations of iQ 11s include full-featured NFC, support for stereo dual speakers, symmetrical dual x-axis linear motors, etc. As shown in the figure above, in the Antutu V10 version of the running score, iQ 11s scored an astonishing 1.66 million plus points. The Geekbench 5 running score is quite satisfactory. The iQ 11s single core score is 1447 points, and the multi core score is 4801 points. In the 3D mark that focuses on GPU scores, the Wildlife Project, iQ 11s, scored 13660 points, and the average frame rate reached 81.80. After 20 consecutive rounds of 3D mark Wildlife, the stability of iQ 11s reached 76.3%. With 200 watts fast charging, the charging speed is so fast that the naked eye can see it, so fast that it even needs to be recorded in seconds during the charging process, iQ 11s can go straight to the peak power of more than 170 watts at the beginning. The 200 watts charger of iQ 11s is not as big as imagined, the weight is about 149 grams, and the charging line has reached 10 ampere, and the overcurrent capability is stronger. In the camera part, iQ 11s is equipped with three cameras, including main camera of 54 megapixels, Sony Custom VCS IMX 866, f1.88 aperture, telephoto 13 megapixels, Samsung 3L6, f2.46 aperture, ultra wide 8 megapixels, OV08, f2.2. This set of three camera collocation can be regarded as an old friend of the Blue Factory phone. The point of conscience is that, as a phone that is biased towards positioning, iQ 11s does not make up the numbers in terms of imaging. For example, the main camera is the same as the X90, and optical image stabilization is also added. iQ 11s is equipped with the Origin OS 3 system developed based on Android 13, and has upgraded functions such as super small window multitasking, privacy watermark, smooth visual experience 2.0, in-place resurrection mechanism, and unfair scheduling mechanism. In the end, you can simply answer the questions mentioned at the beginning of the video.
why IQ has never been positioned as a gaming phone, but still can get a large number of gaming players? The answer is simple. This is not something that can be achieved with simple parameters, performance, and running points, but in addition to the ultimate performance experience, it can also bring some differentiated functions and experiences to players. The super resolution and super frame concurrency, supported by Genshin Impact, not only guarantees a higher frame game, but also brings a picture quality experience beyond the original. These differentiated functions can make players play more exciting, for example, dual pressure sensitivity under the screen, two fingers to control four key commands, and a horizontal screen gaming experience is better. To put it more bluntly, a phone that really serves players requires both super performance and super gaming. Obviously, iQ 11s has achieved this. A brief summary of iQ 11s, this is a direct screen flagship phone that is very suitable for gamers. Extreme performance and excellent eSports experience are its core advantages. Other aspects of iQ 11s experience are also relatively bucket, the image performance is quite satisfactory, but there are no obvious shortcomings. Therefore, if you are a performance party, a gaming player, a fan of Genshin Impact, or you need a product with an excellent price-quality ratio and a balanced comprehensive experience, then iQ 11s is a good choice for you. What do you think about the new phone? Write your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you soon.